Quantum dropped a weapon like we've never seen before. My name is Cisco, a 5 time Mages finalist and today we'll be talking about the best weapon in Call of Duty Mobile. In the past, we've seen broken weapons get added into the game, for example the Akimbo Fennec, MX-9 and even the NA-45. But in this recent update, the Quantum developer team cooked up something that no one in the community expected. And maybe, just maybe, overcooked it. Introducing the BP-50. The BP-50 is the second weapon from Vanguard series to hit Kata M right after the MG-42, which absolutely terrorized the game since its launch and getting banned almost immediately in tournaments across the globe. Now, I'm sure you've had your fair share of experiences with the MG. Taking that into consideration, imagine the MG-42 but faster, stronger, and easier to use. That, my friends, is the BP-50. Since its release, trust me when I say you'll never get into a ranked game and not see at least one player using it. What's worse is, people using off-meta weapons were given no choice but to switch to using the BP-50 since they stand and no chance with anything else, which got me thinking, what makes the BP-50 so good? Let's dive into that. First up, let's talk about its time to kill. 189 milliseconds. That's milliseconds. And the average human reaction time is 250 milliseconds, which literally means you're dead before you can even react. Faster than most SMGs out there, that's absolutely crazy. Imagine you're just moving to the next hard point and boom, you're dead before you even realize it. When an AR is capable of outgunning an SMG in close range, you know something's wrong. Oh, but what about the time to kill mid to long ranges? With the right attachments, the PSA of the BP-50 takes full advantage of the TTK, making it insane even at the longer ranges. Plus, it has the best fire rate in the AR category, so missing a couple bullets here and there won't really matter. And unlike other fast firing weapons in the game, you don't have to worry too much about the recoil. Just pull down and slightly to the left. Oh, and what's this? You're giving us an attachment that reduces all recoil with zero downsides? Okay, thanks. You heard that right, by equipping the Leroy custom stock, you're able to reduce both horizontal and vertical recoil for free, no downsides. It makes me really wonder what the dev team is on. On some crack! You think after all that, maybe they'll slow down the handling a bit, right? Wrong. With an ADS time of 200 milliseconds, the BP-50 rivals some of the best close range SMGs. Maybe a slower movement speed? Nope, it's actually pretty good. Almost better than most of the fastest ARs in the game. ADS movement speed, faster than the Fennec, so that should tell you a lot. While the sprint to fire is on the slower side, it's not really an issue issues and sprint to fire can easily be cancelled by sliding and jumping, or just not sprinting at all. Everything so far screams game breaking. Now let's get into the fun part, the cons. Did you forget to write this part down? Oh, there's no cons? Oh, okay. I guess after all that, the BB-50 just doesn't seem to have any cons. Maybe the reload speed is slightly on the slower side, but other than that, nothing really. To summarize it, the BB-50 excels close to long range, has insane time to kill, low recoil, fast fire rate, great mobility, and is really easy to use. Being the best at almost every aspect in the game and having no downsides really tells us how the BP-50 is sitting on top of the meta right now. You give it no reason to use any other weapons if your goal is to win the game. Even snipers don't stand a chance since you're dead before you even fully scope it. Rank has been filled with nothing but BP-50s lately and dying instantly I'm sure is no fun for anyone. First we had the MG42 and now the BP-50. What's next? If there's anything that can counter the BP-50, it's an SMG. And if you want to know the best SMGs to use this season, click here. And as always, thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.